Hello everyone. Myself Anupallavi Sharma, a student of Lakhimpur College of Veterinary Science, shall be discussing on topic photosensitization in animals. Photosensitization is a condition where animal shows marked sensitivity to sunlight following ingestion of photodynamic substances. In animals, areas lacking hair, wool or pigmentation are mostly affected. It is also known as slough sickness and grass poisoning. In veterinary field, cause of photosensitivity are mostly plant derived. Also, a wide range of bacterial and fungal chemicals may act as photosensitizing agents. Commonly affected animals are cattle, sheep, goat, and horses. The time interval between exposure and onset of clinical signs depend on type of agents, its dose, and exposure to sunlight. Here are the four types of photosensitization classified according to source of photodynamic agents. First, primary photosensitization, which causes type 1 photosensitivity. It occurs due to ingestion of certain plants or photodynamic agents. For example, in cattle and sheep, ingestion of ME majors, that is bishop weed, and Chymopterus watsoni that is spring parsley causes primary photosensitization. Plants like hyper hypericum perforatum contains pigment hypericin which acts upon skin and damage skin cell membrane when animal is exposed to UV light. Next. Type 2 photosensitivity is caused by aberrant pigment metabolism. Generally, every pigment is metabolized, but the pigment porphyrin is not metabolized effectively due to defective function of enzymes involved in heme synthesis and thus accumulates in the system. Such type of photosensitivity is noted in bovine congenital erythropoietic porphyria or pink tooth condition. Now, moving to secondary or hepatogenous photosensitization. It is the most frequently occurring type of photosensitivity in livestock. Due to impaired hepatobiliary excretion, for example, common bile duct occlusion or hepatitis. Phyloerythrin is neither metabolized nor excreted, but reach peripheral circulation, initiating phototoxic reaction. This occurs in animal grazing in Lantana camera, Penicum species, Helitropium species, etc. The last type of photosensitization is idiopathic. Here, photodynamic agents is not identified. Forages like oats, weeds, red clover have suspected in case of photosensitization associated with 
specific environmental condition that is during heavy rainfall. Also, outbreak has been reported in cattle exposed to water damage, alpha alpha hay, moldy straw and foxtail orchard grass. Now, what are the clinical findings and lesions we may observe? They are, animals are photophobic in nature. Scratching or rubbing of exposed area of skin are seen. Lesions in non-pigmented or hairless areas, for example, in other and nose are observed. Rapid erythema is followed by edema. Prolonged exposure to UV light leads to vesicle and bulla formation, serum exudation, ulceration, scap formation, and skin necrosis lesions are seen. Final stage includes skin sloughing. In cattle, exposed to tongue results in glossitis and may develop epiphora, corneal edema, and blindness. In hepatogenous photosensitivity, icterus may be present. Photodermatitis is the sole manifestation seen in bovine erythropoietic protoporphyria. Moving on to the diagnosis, history and clinical finding fortified with liver function test helps in formulating the diagnosis. Photo patch test can be used for confirmation of photoallergy. Also, porphyrin levels in blood, feces, and urine can be examined. Gross or histologic signs of liver disease may indicate photosensitization. Increased serum biochemical measurements can be taken of sorbitol dehydrogenase gamma glutamyl transferase, alkaline phosphatase, and direct bilirubin. Moving on to line of treatment, we can use corticosteroid, for example, prednisolone at the rate of 1.1 mg per kg body weight per day orally for 10 days. Second, a course of antihistamines for 3 to 5 days. Third, a course of liver extract can be given parenterally. Beside it, dextrose 5 to 10 percent can be administered to protect the liver via IV root. Fourth, as local treatment, Astringent lotion can be applied tropically over the affected areas and fly repellent can be sprayed to avoid contamination by arthropods. Fifth, if secondary bacterial infection is detected, a course of antibiotic can be indicated with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Lastly, some protective measures should be taken care of, like the animal should be kept in shade and housed during daytime and allow grazing during darkness. Avoid exposure to sun rays and chemicals or plants. Thank you for your patience listening.